Hello everyone, this is Colin Greatwood, Application Engineer for LMI Technologies, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use video mode to properly set a multiple exposure gocator sensor to account for a variation in height. So in our previous video we used a wood block to set a single exposure using video mode. And you can see this wood block here. It's of one material type, one finish, and of relatively the same height across the entire top of the block. You can see that here. We can see a little bit of the table on the left and right hand sides, but we're going to ignore that for now. So we see the top of this block, and because it's pretty uniform and doesn't have very much material change, we could use a single exposure set in, in video mode for either profile or surface mode scanning. Now I'm going to change the part over to an aluminum wall outlet. So right away you can see two things. One, that we're getting a lot of noise in the center of the, uh, of the object. And then we're also missing some data on the left and right hand sides as the height starts to change. This could be an indicator that you need a multiple exposure system. Quickly toggling over into video mode, you can see we have a hot spot in the center, as we would expect, and then we lose data as we trail off to the left and right hand sides. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and clean up the noise in the center of this part. That's one thing that's very important when you're using multiple exposures, is to go into the multi-exposure system having thought about what you want to get out of each exposure. So the first exposure, you're more than likely going to get a clean image on metallic parts or parts that are closer to the imager. And as you go to second or third exposures, you're going to want to focus on parts that get farther away. Since this video is focusing on change in height as it pertains to multi-exposure systems, I'm going to try and use two or three to account for this change in height. So the first thing I want to do is have the first exposure image the center of the part so that there's no noise and we still get a pretty clean image in the center. So let's start here. Okay, so we don't see any noise there. Let's go over in the video and see how that looks. You can still see we're getting a pretty good hot spot in the center. So I might go even a little bit farther just to make sure we're really mitigating that hot spot. Since it is metal, you are going to get a hotter response, so we're going to leave it right about here. Just as you'd expect, the center of the image has been cleaned up, but we did lose a little bit more on the left and right hand sides of the image. So I'm going to change over to a multi-exposure system. The first one was 150, as we just set. The second exposure, we're going to set a little bit greater. Let's start at 500. Okay. So we're getting a good bit more of the image. We're not quite there. Since we started to get a little bit of noise, I'm going to back this, back this off a little bit, just so we get over the curve on the left and right hand side. And then I'm going to add a third exposure. Now you see that third exposure really gets us down there to finishing up the part here and it mitigates the noise that we were seeing in both the first and second exposures. So as you go through a multi-exposure system, make sure you're thinking about what height areas that you want to get a clean image of with each exposure and try and mitigate noise as you go by using as many exposures as you need. This will affect the, the frame rate a little bit negatively, so you'll want to make sure that you still have the frame rate you need to get a good image if you're in surface or profile mode.